So Khloe Kardashian is allegedly pregnant and Twitter is going crazy. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. To my returning subbies, hi. And to my new viewers, please don't forget to subscribe so you can stay notified. So literally, this is actually too much. I saw it on a forum, but I took no notice of it. But then the Shade Room posted it. So I was like, let me start taking notice. So Khloe Kardashian is allegedly pregnant again by Tristan Thompson. Now, if you watch their show, which I don't, but my sister does, um, I know she wanted to have another baby and she wanted to use his equipment to do so. Um, and now there's allegations. Now, where these allegations come from, I don't know, but let's just dig into it. So why is it problematic for chloe to be pregnant by tristan okay so we all know he cheated on her and she found out the day after she gave birth to her beautiful baby true that is the worst time to find out that your boyfriend partner whatever has cheated on you that literally the worst time like you're supposed to be enjoying your baby together you guys are supposed to be like just so close and just a family now but then you're finding out he's cheated on you so you don't even really want him to be there but then he has to still kind of be there, but then it's difficult. So that's the first time he cheated. Then the second time, at least that we know of, because he could have cheated like 10 times, but we only know of two. So the second time was this whole thing with Jordan. Now, this whole thing is actually ridiculous. And let me tell you why. People are getting at Chloe if she's pregnant by her baby daddy. Realistically speaking, there's crazier things that's happened and people need to stop coming for her. Now, I don't condone having a baby by someone that has cheated on you. That's not my business. Like, it's whatever. But people are really in their feelings and really got their knickers in a, in a bunch. She's like, relax, chill. If she's pregnant, calm down. So, of course, after all these allegations came out, she responded and I post what she said. So to respond to the first tweet, I agree with her. It's her business, it's her life. If it's true, how does it concern everyone? Of course we can gossip about it, fair. It's on Twitter, people are going to talk about it. However, like people seem like they're, they're, their feelings have been hurt. People feel like this is really about them or people really feel like this is something that she's done wrong. Like realistically, we've all done things wrong. Now I'm not admitting to anything because no, but loads of people have been with somebody that has cheated on them. People have still been with people that have cheated on them, had a baby on them and still gone back to them. No shade, but Rashida from um, Love and Hip Hop, she did the same thing. Not that she shouldn't have, but it's the, it's the case. Some people have been with people, they come back and give them some sort of STD or STI. Like there's different situations. People done mess with people's family members. Some people done stole money from you, da 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 da. Like, there's loads and loads and loads of different things that's happened in this life that is shocking that people are still taking people back for. So her taking this guy back, if she does, or having a baby by him, is not actually crazy. And I have heard her say on the show that she wants to have a baby by him again because she wants True to have like another full sibling so they'll have the same genes and they'll actually be brothers and sisters fully. Now, I've heard this before, not from like Chloe, I'm talking about I've heard it before from other people. And I don't think it's too crazy to want to have the same father for all of your children. That should be the hope for all of us that we, from when we have kids, we have it with that one person and we live together and da 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 da. Now, of course, she's not in a relationship with this guy at the moment. So, yes, it is unconventional, but. I feel like I've heard crazier things and I get what she's coming from. And also think about it. She has been waiting to have a baby for ages. Her and Lamar were together for ages and they never had kids. And it wasn't because she couldn't. It was probably because of the things, the activities he was getting up to. But also she did say on the show after she found out that he was abusing drugs, she tried to stop having kids with him because what, what, like, why would someone intentionally go and have babies with someone? Mind you, loads of people have. No shade, I'm just saying loads of people have. So it makes sense why she would want to have her kid with Tristan. She already knows him and blah, 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 blah. But again, it's not for me, but I understand it. But people need to really come out of their feelings. It's not that deep to her second tweet i don't understand why people feel they need to be nasty like people are calling her a clown people are saying she's dumb like okay okay i see where you men are coming from but i just feel like it's imagine if she is pregnant look at the stress you men are giving her it's not fair it is not fair it's just unfortunate that she's famous because all of us make poor decisions in this life but unfortunately for her she has to face hers 
in the public eye now i think a lot of the reason why people are being nasty is because of the whole jordan situation now let's actually just figure this out let's actually just paint this out right now jordan went to a house party thrown by tristan she didn't know allegedly according to her on the red table talk he was sitting on a chair and she was sitting on the arm and she had her legs over his lap now that's not cheating but that is inappropriate that's Mm, that's almost fighting words that's very very inappropriate for a friend for a family member for anything that's very inappropriate it gives the wrong impression if i walked into that room i would think oh something going on again not per se cheating but highly inappropriate for both of them to be doing and then according to her in the red table talk he kissed her and she was kind of like oh let me ha have to go now in this situation what is chloe's fault I'll actually wait because you guys need to let me know what Chloe did wrong in that circumstance. I'll wait. Yeah, nothing. She didn't do anything wrong. She wasn't even there. Now, her actions after it, maybe posting online, wasn't appropriate, wasn't adult, wasn't necessary. But again, when things come out, she wants to try to get in front of the narrative. She wants to speak about it. She wants to say her truth and she wants to vent. Again, I don't agree with ranting on social media. That's really not it. That's what I used to do in secondary school. But as a grown woman right now, no, I do not do that. But, okay, hey, that's maybe the only bit she did wrong. Other than that, she didn't do anything wrong. And people are now saying, oh, when you apologise to Jordan, you did Jordan nasty, you guys were mean to her, you guys bullied her, blah, 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 blah. Now, that might be true. I don't think it was actually that bad from their side. Re think about it. Most girls not most girls, some girls, depending on what type of girl they are, will pull up on the girl. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Especially that being your friend. Some people will pull up on a girl that they don't even know and swear up, which I find quite strange. But this is Tino Sis. Sis is basically Sis. Sis is damn near family. So the betrayal of, or even the circumstances, everything is messed up. Chloe doesn't deserve all this hate for something she didn't do. Like, she wasn't a part of it. She didn't cheat on him. The only thing she really did wrong was probably take him back. But again, loads of women have taken back, or loads of men have taken back people they probably shouldn't have. Let's keep it real. And people need to just come out their feelings. This is her business. Why are we all on a Jordan train like she was the one in the right? I'm not saying, like, she deserved to be, like, crucified, but I'm saying, was she in the right, though? no so put yourself in that circumstance put yourself in that situation and think how would i react if i found out my home girl was messing or doing anything like weird with my man how would you think how would you act let's just be honest so i feel like there's this whole kardashian hate train and people are literally jumping on it buying one-way tickets and it's like why i just i I'm not the like I'm not a huge Kardashian fan. They're cool. I really like what Kim's doing with um, her Innocence Project and stuff. But it's not that deep. We all make mistakes. We've all done dumb stuff. It's just unfortunate hers is in the public eye. And to her last tweet, I agree. People need to start worrying about themselves more. That's why like social media is a bit of a difficult place because I love social media, but at the same time, people are too busy. People will work their nine to five job and work six till ten minding your business. It's like sis relax it's not that serious like i will see stuff but like i'll say it to my sister and that's it i don't tweet anything don't have twitter i don't comment anything on instagram i just look at stuff because I, i'm not gonna lie, some of it is funny i won't lie but it's like people need to come out of their feelings it's not that serious focus on yourself sometimes just maybe give them a little bit of energy because it's entertainment but other than that i feel like people should be worried about how they get in their next check if they're going to keep their job what unemployment is going to be looking like how am i going to feed this how am i going to feed that da, da, da. what's my health looking like do i have health care you know people need to be focused on other things outside of just her like it's just too much people are giving it way too much energy and it's like it's not even useful energy i feel bad for her that she's constantly going through something and it's not even her fault if she's pregnant by him okay okay oh k so many celebrities have taken back their husbands their wives that have cheated i'm not even some of our faves some of our faves have done it and i will never crucify them because i don't believe in that it may not be something i would do but it appears that chloe has a high tolerance for disrespect no shit i'm just saying like this is the type of thing i couldn't be putting up with but she's being really mature think about it during quarantine a lot of people that have 
kids like for example future and all his six tweets he probably had to facetime all his six kids or seven i think he got seven now um whereas chloe is deciding to live with him so he can see true all the time now again it's above me because her way of adulting is too mature for me i think but I have to give salute because she's really holding up her family structure and ensuring her child gets the best life possible and gets the advantage of having two parents even if he's a cheater what's that got to do with truth nothing i think ultimately people need to just chill hop off her a little bit if she is pregnant imagine what stress you guys are really doing to her and her baby especially you people know first trimesters are really scary so just hop, like relax just let's just relax i know we're bored and it's quarantine but like we need to just be more nice it's not necessary to be nasty and i think bringing up jordan crucifying her because of jordan is is nonsensical she didn't do anything wrong leave her alone like it's just not that serious of course we'll have our giggles and stuff but it's not that serious it's just really not that serious but yeah i just wanted to make this quick video to discuss this because literally it is all over twitter i couldn't get rid of it i literally spoke to my sisters about it way before i was even going to make this video but yes thank you guys all for watching please continue to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye